Thanks so much for tuning back in. We are live here at the Navigate Cornelia Broadcast Center for Go Local Prov. We just talked about some fun ways to celebrate the new year with Bar Louie in downtown Providence. And really to kick off 2019, a lot of us start off with New Year's resolutions. You know, we all get that new gym membership and we're thinking about all of those Christmas cookies that I just ate all <laughs> over the past couple of days. Oh my gosh, oh my I'm, a couple dozen at the very <laughs> least. So now 2019 is coming and I'm thinking, all right, I'm going to get in shape. I'm going to, you know, hit the gym and start eating healthy. Like so many Americans, New Year's resolutions are a lot of the time health-based. Right. So I'm here with my second guest, Carol. Thank you so much for joining me Thank today. You for having me. Owner of Slim Pickings in North Providence. Yes. So tell me a little bit about yourself and how you got started to open Slim Pickings. I work in the medical field. I okay. have for about 25 years and it just, you know, you start meal prepping and it's just everybody's so busy, they mm -hmm. don't have time to do it. So I thought why not open a place that they can come and get different options because usually when you meal prep it's always the same exact thing. Same thing seven days a week. Right. Like, by day six or seven you're like, oh my god, <laughs> if I have to eat this one more time, exactly. I'm throw it out the window. For sure. So kind of thought of that. and you know, learning as I go, incorporating yeah. different things, and just, you know, trying to get everybody eating a little healthier. Absolutely. Get them on, get the ball rolling on that. Right. Trend getting started. Correct. So tell me about what you did in the medical field for so long. Um, I've worked in the emergency department for 25 years. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so you have your fair share of experiences yes. in the ER. Yes. Wow. Okay. And so you were doing your own meal prep and People were loving it and seeing it, right. being jealous that they didn't have the meal prep. <laughs> so you said, you know what, let me help you guys out. I'm going to start off Slim Pickings in North exactly. Providence. Exactly. So tell me a little bit about Slim Pickings and what you have to offer. So I have um, different proteins, and then you can pick a carb, you can pick a vegetable, or you can pick mix two of the same, mix yeah. it up. But I do incorporate, I have protein muffins, I have protein puddings, I incorporate turkey chili through Lent. I do a wonderful haddock and I just kind of do specials here and there. You get to run so there's always something new popping up. Right. Yes. So I personally really really enjoy your meal prep. I get it at least a couple of times a week um, and it is really great and you know it comes in these great little to-go containers and when I get home I put it on a plate and I'm always amazed with how much food is actually in it and it really is a substantial amount of food. You get your, your starch, your veggie and your protein and my favorites are are the turkey meatballs. They are just right. out of this world and I get it with a little side of marinara sauce and it really is a great way to stay healthy and balanced because you're leaving out all of that unnecessary sodium and fat. So Correct. can you tell me a little bit about how you go about making the food to make sure that it's healthy and we're not we're getting rid of all that unnecessary unwanted you know yucky stuff we could say. I do do a lot. I don't do any salt. It's all salt-free seasoning. That's great. Um, I flavor a lot with vegetables. The turkey meatballs have a lot of vegetables for yeah. flavor. Um, I do have a lot of. I actually have a nutritionist that sends all the cardiac rehab patients to me. Really? Because there is no sodium and right. things like that. Yeah, no. Because it, I don't put anything on the vegetables. Like you can see on the chicken, there is some seasoning, but it's all free. Um, so I just stay away from salt, yeah. and that's I it. I think that's really huge because salt mm -hmm. plays a major factor in, in so many health issues. Right. And, you know, being able to at least cut down on salt and, you know, eventually be able to do salt-free. And, you know, if you really, really need to, you can do a little sprinkle of salt on it yourself. Of course. But of course. really being able to have that option where it is salt-free, it is the healthier way to go, and you're able to right. use other seasonings and other kind, like you said, vegetables right. and the turkey meatballs, to add that flavoring without having to use salt. Correct. Absolutely. So that's kind of like the best part about it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we have different options. We've got breaded chicken. You've got grilled chicken, turkey meatballs. What other kind of um, options do you have for proteins and sides? What kind of combinations can we get crazy with? I do have burgers. I have a beet burger. A I beet have a burger. lot of vegans that have been coming. Yes. So I've been. I'm going to incorporate a couple more things after the new year for everybody and for vegans also. But we do have the beet burger and the breaded chicken and the burgers, um, an Angus burger, which is very good. A lot yeah. of the guys like that. Um, we also, like I said, I have um, a vegan chili that I do every year. Awesome. And um, the turkey chili is 
out of this world. Oh, out of this it. world. It's coming like next week. Balls. So yes, it's it's gonna it's pretty phenomenal. Oh, that's awesome. So really, meal prep not only helps with you know balanced, healthy diets, but also helps with saving time. You know, if you right. if you grab one and you have it for lunch or you have it for dinner a couple of days a week, that's one less thing that you have to worry about. So whether you stop in the shop and you grab just one to go and you have it for lunch that day, or if you put an order in for the week. You kind of set yourself up for success, and you're good to roll. Absolutely. You can bring it to work with you. You can have it for dinner, whatever it is, and it is, it's that healthy sustenance. And it is very, very filling, I have to say. So sometimes I'll have just a half of one for lunch, or if I'm having it for dinner, I'll have the whole thing. But it really is very filling. Right. Yes. So tell me about your new location. You just revamped, opened up a new space. I did. Expanded. So tell me about where you're located now. I am at 1755 Smith Street. It's I am side by side with D Petrillo's. Okay. And um, it's a great, very sunny space. Beautiful. You can actually come in and eat or you can just get meal preps. A lot of people just get the meal preps. Yeah. Um, it's good. Good access. A lot of um, parking. Perfect. Where I kind of didn't have that the last time. So just trying to make it accessible for everybody. Absolutely. So, you know, we've got a couple of gyms in the area. So whether right. you're, you know, you're working out after you're done, you're like, ah, I need a little protein muffin, <laughs> exactly. a little protein pudding. So that's from your grab and go case. And then you also have right. your meal preps as well. Right. Yes. So this is kind of ideal for this time of year. Like we said, New Year's resolutions, this is goes hand in hand with it to help you really keep yourself accountable. Make sure you have no excuses when you have meal prep because it's already just ready to go right. in the fridge and you're having healthy party options. And so I have I have pasta here and everyone thinks, oh, oh, pasta, you can't have pasta if you're eating healthy. So what makes this pasta technically healthy? It's actually organic wheat pasta. Organic wheat pasta. Right. Okay. So it's a it's just a healthier option. It's a healthier option. There are no meals that are over 500 calories. Okay, so that's so, great. So, yeah. So it's it's good and everything's portioned. So it may be pasta, but it's only a cup of pasta. Right, rather it's than not, having a huge right. heaping <laughs> pile of spaghetti, you're having Correct. a cup of pasta. It's you know you're still getting that enjoyment from being able to have exactly. a little bit of carb pasta, something like that, without right. saying like, oh my god, I can't believe I just ate a whole box, a whole pound of pasta. Like Correct. you know, you're able to get your your fill at that that you know that craving that you might have for pasta. You're able to get it, and it's organic and it's whole wheat. Correct. Awesome. Now, are you using any other products that are organic? Um, I do. Not really. No. No. Well, it doesn't no, have to be. Just fresh. I do the vegetables are fresh. fresh vegetables. Um, I do the brown rice. I Brussels do, do sprouts. Brussels sprouts. That's the, I season them with garlic powder. I don't do salt, so it's garlic powder. That is one of the big Brussels sellers. Yes. yes. That is one of the big sellers right now is the yes. Brussels sprouts. Now, I love the spinach. And what do you do to that spinach to make it so good? I have to know. Is, do you put extra garlic in the spinach? I do put a seasoning. Okay. But no salt, like no I said. Salt. But I do do a seasoning because I honestly, one day was eating with my customers and I ate the spinach and it was absolutely horrible. And I said, you pay me for this? <laughs> and <laughs> like, I have to do better. I need to do better. So that's why I seasoned it because... That's you great. know, I have to be able to eat it too. Yeah, of course. So how often do you find yourself eating and what is your favorite meal to pick? I eat every day. I eat one of my meals. Good. And it's always, it's, I always eat the pasta. Yeah. And I love the broccoli. And I switch between chicken and a burger. The burger. Okay. Yeah. So I think the burger might be one of the only ones I haven't had. Correct. Yet. But, yes. you know, because I'm kind of committed to the turkey meatballs. But <laughs> maybe are. I'll try the burger next. Definitely. And like we said, lots of vegan and vegetarian options. Right. So we have, and you also have some fish. Like you said, you have the haddock special, but also a salmon patty. Salmon patty. Yeah. Yes, I do. A salmon patty. It's very, it's about, it's a good size. It's not too much, but it's Just good. Just right. Yeah, it's not filled with breading and things yeah. like that. Oh, so. that extra filler that's very unnecessary. Right. Can really add up calorically and, and you know, fat-wise. So Correct. Definitely. And so for vegan options, we have the beet burger, and then you also have the vegan smash. So yes. what goes into that vegan smash? Because it's it's so delicious, and you're eating it, and you're like, this is vegan. Are you playing a trick on me? Like, I don't really know for sure. So what goes into that vegan smash to make it so good? Um, I put three different types of beans, and I put seasoning. 
and then it's every vegetable you can think of and it's all together and I put a little bit of the marinara and I bake it literally for like ah, four hours. Really? Yes. Okay, so it's like slow cooked it in is. a way. And it and then looks the like... And marinara sauce, that's making it like that like juicy, like, oh my yes. gosh. Oh, that's yes. the secret. Mm -hmm. It is the secret okay. and it's very good and yes. everybody loves it and, but yeah, it's... It's good stuff. So for vegans and for non-vegans, this is definitely something for you mm -hmm. to try is the vegan smash. Absolutely. Definitely. Now tell me about your protein muffins because, uh, you know, for anyone who likes to have little pastries in the morning or little snacks like that, these are great. Grab and go. I like to buy them, put them in the freezer, and then I pop them in the toaster oven in the morning, and it's a right. quick on-the-go breakfast. Right. It's a healthier option. They're about 200 calories, um, 15 grams of carbs. Oh, wow. Um... About, I would say 18 to 20 grams of protein. Wow. Five grams of sugar. So it's a healthier option. Yeah. Is it, you know, bland where there's no sugar? Of course there's sugar in it. Yes. But they do taste good. It is a healthier option. I do tell people, just eat one a day. Don't eat three a day. Yeah, yeah. You don't go so, crazy with the muffins, all <laughs> just right? Just because like, they taste good doesn't mean you want to eat them every, you know, right. for every meal. But Yeah, people will hear protein muffins. It's healthy. Therefore, I can have a half a dozen of them Correct. for breakfast. And you can't do it's that. It's not get out of hand, you everyone. You can't do that. Yes. But they are. They're very, very tasty. They they're are. really moist. And you have all different flavors. I love your pumpkin muffins. But you have, like, funfetti and banana and chocolate chip. And so you've got a whole variety. And they come out fresh every day. Yeah. The chocolate yes. avocado is the... The chocolate avocado. Yes. Okay, so tell me about chocolate avocado because <laughs> it's, it's one of those things that you're like, it makes sense, but like I've never... It's, there's uh, dark chocolate, mm -hmm. so that, you know, gives yeah. a little bit of taste, and then it's a lot of, actually a lot of, a lot avocado. of avocado. So it gives yeah. you those good fats, and it gives you that nice, like, smooth whipped texture. Correct. And, and, you know, the chocolate kind of overpowers the taste of the avocado. So it's yes. for those people who, you know, they have a hard time eating their greens and you have to sneak it in. Right. You know, when you have to give your dog a pill, you have to wrap it up and... Yeah, I tell everybody it's a chocolate muffin. It's a chocolate muffin. <laughs> it's, it's a chocolate muffin. In that. It's a chocolate exactly. muffin. Exactly. Yes, that's perfect. So New Year's resolutions right around the corner. You know, gearing up for 2019. We want all of us to be our best selves, getting healthy, getting wholesome action in our lives. Meal prep definitely goes hand in hand with all of those things. And so one more time where we can find you, um, where we can find your location, and maybe where we can find you on social media as well. Um, 1755 Smith Street. I'm right across from Dunkin' Donuts and Citizens Bank. You can, I do have um, a, you can go on Google. I'm on Google. Or you can go on our, we email. Or people text us orders. I do text so you orders. You do yes. text so me orders. So is that the best way to do it, is to text you an order? And we you know, can find that number right on. Absolutely. Okay. It's actually, you know, everybody's convenient. Nobody yeah. has, you know, time to email right, all the time. Order. So to text me, it's, hey, it's, you know. Yeah. It's Laura, I want this, this, and this. I'll be there at this time. I'll text Perfect. back and say, okay, and then I see you then. Easy enough. Easy no enough. excuses. No, no excuses because you can text your meal order in and then you pick it up and you have it set for lunch and dinner. Grab a couple of protein muffins, work in breakfast, so you're really good yes. to go. Absolutely awesome. So New Year's resolutions here, to, good to go with your meal prep services with Slim Pickings. Thank you so much for joining Thank me today. Thank you for having me. Of course. And don't go anywhere because we have more help with your New Year's resolutions coming right up.